Hey, Tech and Subs viewers, finally got out to see a movie and to do a uh, parking lot review this week. And I just got back from Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. And this one was fun. Um, you know, I went by myself and I was sitting in a whole uh, theater with a bunch of families and kids. And I think I laughed almost as much as, as the little kids did in this movie. Uh, being a huge fan of Captain Underpants because that was something that we grew up with, uh, going to the Scholastic Book Fairs and getting those books uh, in elementary school. Um, this movie was exactly what you wanted to see. Um, so close to the source material. I think they actually used um, one of the books because I recognize a lot of the characters and kind of the plot points in this. Um, one of the books, one of the small little <laughs> uh, comic book-ish books that they were. Um, but yeah, this, this movie was really close to the source material. Uh, it wasn't above toilet humor. Uh, you got you got a little bit of that in, and the little kids loved it, and that was great. Um, but the animation was clean and consistent, and uh, not not too much to it, but like it was it was great in the way that they used it in a lot of things. And I don't want to do too many spoilers, and I'm not gonna do any spoilers in this in this review. Um, but it, it was it was really well done for what they were doing, and they switched it up a couple times. They they had a couple of like dream sequences esque things um, where they were planning stuff, and the animation would change to uh, more of like stop, not stop motion, but uh, I, I won't spoil it. There's there's a part where the animation changed, and it was really cool. Um, and then other stuff, uh, I I do not like Kevin Hart movies, and when I saw that Kevin Hart was gonna play, um, oh boy, it's, it's a Harold. I think it's Harold. Um, when Kevin Hart was going to play him, I was not too thrilled about it because Kevin Hart can kind of ruin good movies. Um, he kind of screwed up in uh, Central Intelligence with for me. Um, but he was great in this. Uh, the characters acted almost like they did in my, in my mind when I was reading the books when I was younger. Um, Captain Underpants, played by Ed Helms, was, was wonderful. Um, he played the dual... Uh, per, uh, principal and captain underpants and that was just a really fun storyline throughout um the guy who played the villain i can't think of his name right now but he's he sounded really familiar i'll put it right here he's he did a great great job at um playing kind of like the the punching bag if you will throughout the movie but playing a really good villain and, and someone with a great accent um it was just a lot of fun uh there was one point in the movie um, and this is maybe a spoiler if you're going to go see this, but I, I, I doubt it. I think everyone went and saw Wonder Woman. Um, the, the books had, um, when they got to the action sequence, uh, you'd have the flip -orama for those people who remember doing that. Um, so you'd get to the action sequence and then you would take two pages and it would say, put your thumb at the, the corner and you would just, uh, flip back and forth really quick. And then, um, that would like, you know, swat somebody out of the air. Um, or it would like stomp on somebody and that was that was a lot of fun so they had that in the movie and they explained it out by saying that the next thing that happened in this fight sequence was going to be too expensive to animate and it was too brutal or whatever so they they actually had um the two kids flip back and forth for you and that was like the fight sequence and then they jumped right back into it when they ran out of pages and i thought that was really cool um it, it might have not been as good as I'm thinking of it because I'm looking through rose colored glasses because it was my childhood and that was a lot of fun um but I, I think it was a, a a great film kids are gonna love it um the kids were up and dancing in the theater um and then adults there's enough adult humor in there where you kind of laugh and and it's not like a Pixar thing where it's like a full adult and kid movie the whole way through but there's enough like adult jokes in it that'll keep you know older people entertained at least for for, for a while through it and uh, yeah, just a really fun time at the theater um, for for kids who are like my age that read it growing up. Um, you're gonna have some great uh, memories of it, and, and it's just a just a fun time. So maybe take a little cousin, a little niece, or something like that, or just go by yourself like me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, it was great. Uh, I liked it better than Wonder Woman, and I won't get into that because it's kind of a sore subject. And Joey loved it, and that's awesome for people who loved it. But yeah. Great weekend of movies, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of any of the movies that came out this weekend. Comment below. We love to hear from you guys. We love to comment back. Um, and yeah, good stuff coming up for the rest of the summer. It'll be fun.